Hi, it's Ari here with Dennis and Yanni, and I'm here at Costa Baja Marina in La Paz, Mexico, to show you the Ocean Alexander 64 Viking Spirit. So we're just here walking down the dock. She's a 2002 64 Ocean Alexander. Really good shape. You can see the uh, swim platform there. Um, the teak was all replaced uh, about five years ago, same as the uh, aft deck as well. Let's zoom out here a little bit. And uh, how's nice and smooth. It is a 2002, so um, yeah, I mean, all things considered, she's in really good shape. Um, just zoom in here and you can just see just some minor crazing obviously you know being an O2 um, the gel coat it's gonna be thinned out a little bit but all things considered in pretty good shape big plow anchor there 75 pounds. Love the hard top. Really good setup. Let's jump on board here. So I've got everything uh, popped open in the lazarette, so we can just drop straight into there. Um, some really cool things going on down here. So. Straight in. And right here you've got the uh, vacuum system. A newer uh, Max Q FCI water maker. Looks like it's in great shape. Got a um, trash compactor there for long trips. Deep sea power. Uh, underwater lights there. Um, additional fortress anchor there as well. And we've got a um, yeah, little charger there. And uh, these batteries uh, were replaced two years ago. Um, but the bow, uh, sorry, the stern thrust it down there. And this is for the trim tabs, the little uh, hydraulic pack for the trim tabs. All really good shape down here. Bilge is nice and dry. Bilge pump there. All good. Let's jump on out. Back up here in the aft deck. Got everything together. Got a nice table and chairs for four. Um, and we're just gonna head, before we head to the wet bar there, we're gonna head down to the swim platform. A couple of rod holders here. One on the side there as well. Down here is a little shower with hot and cold water. Really good sized swim platform here as well. Very, com very comfortable. Nice and easy to get on and off the tender and get these removable rails. Good for fishing or um, you know, nice and safe for getting on and off the tender. So as we move forward here on the outboard side and starboard side here, we've got a Wing station, just pop straight out. Uh, bow and stern thruster with electronic gear controls and uh, stop uh, stop engine button. So um, really easy for single-handed, especially with this side door here. Uh, you can easily just pull the boat straight in and jump straight off. Um, and with the bow and stern thrusters, uh, it makes life very, very easy. Um, sink there, we've got storage below, and just above here is a really nice Miele electric grill. Down here is a, a access to the engine room, and we'll check that out from the other side shortly. Uh, before we go, oh, I've got a little, little switches there as, as well. Before we go inside, I'm going to head around to the uh, around the outside here, and then we'll we'll jump on in after that. 
Um, one thing to note, um, in a lot of the corners obviously being this old, um, you just got some crazing here. All the non-skid actually looks pretty good. Um, just uh, some of this white you see, just a little bit of a little bit crazing. I'll just uh, zoom in there so you can see some there. A little bit there, thinning out here and then just a little bit more crazing there. Um, on all the, but the, the bulwarks and all that kind of looks looks like it's in good shape, but just a little bit, you can kind of see it there, a little bit of crazing. Nice. All this is in nice shape. The diesel fill, both tanks there, nice big stainless steel cleats. I like the um, stainless steel feature on the navigation light. Got the two uh, two big horns there. Side door, and this opens up as well. Um, we've got shore power connections both here, and it's the 50 amp, uh, 125, 250 volt. Um, one on here on the starboard side, also another on the port. I like how they've got the, uh, the the protection for the cable there as well. Good sun pad area here. Same thing here, I'll just uh, zoom in a bit more. Can just see some, some crazing there. Maxwell windlass up forward, stainless steel, very nice shape. Got the uh, the rotator there. Everything, everything's in good shape. They got a little anchor wash here, ready to go. It's pretty. I'm just going to come back to this as well. They're pretty consistent, just on this front section. Um, there we go. Yeah, pretty consistent here, you can see. Yeah, it's just a bit of crazing, and that's that's really just this front section, I, I would say some of the deck. The bulkheads and the bulwark seem to be, um, they seem to be a lot better. Bit of a chip in the non-skid there. But really, I mean, aside from that, the non-skid's actually in really good shape. And all this is, yeah, see, no crazing here. It's all really nice there. A um, little bit more down there, and here is the um, the additional shore power connection, and we've also got both the diesel fills there. All right, let's uh, jump on in. So we're just here entering the main salon. The two nice uh, settees here on the port side and a uh, larger L-shaped settee here for four on the starboard side. One thing to note, behind these uh, these two lump seats here are um, uh, good good storage. They really like to cram in the storage Ocean Alley's end everywhere you go. So um, these are slide, slide away and there's another one there slide away. So lots of good storage throughout this boat. So these blinds were changed two years ago, and on the exterior of the boat, there were window covers that were um, uh, that are for all the exterior. So that's part of the reason why the wood is in such nice shape throughout. Um, really is. I mean, I've seen boats up up north where there's barely any sun, and there's a lot of uh, milkiness to the wood, uh, especially this age. And really, I mean, even in the door sills, all in good shape. I mean, this is probably the worst part I've seen on the whole boat which is really nothing. Um, so really good to see, um, good to see there. One other thing to note uh, down here as well, the headliners, uh, all in, in good shape, uh, not drooping at all. Uh, and then you've got LED lighting uh, throughout the boat, the entire boat as well. So I'll just, uh, I'm just pointing you up to the headliners just so we can see it all very clearly. Uh, you can see, you can see the LED there. It all looks really good. Uh, just here, 
to port. Um, this is more cupboard, so you get all your uh, AV equipment. You get the CTEL, uh, Sky uh, HD SAT TV, a uh, little DVD player there as well, and just some additional storage. Uh, just forward here, we've got Uline wine fridge. In here is just um, is that central back system which we saw earlier. Um, in here is the manuals and some, some the owner's the, the seller's tools here. And just some uh, little bar area here as well. Nicely tucked away. Uh, throughout the boat, you've got this uh, cruise air system. Um, so each each section has its own uh, climate control. Uh, this is a uh, almost brand new Samsung HD TV. Uh, one thing I do love about this boat is this um, pass through here. It just really opens up the boat. If you're in the galley cooking, you're not missing out on um, you're not missing out on on the uh, you know what's going on in the salon here or uh, up at the helm as well. So um, it gives the, the, the boat a real really nice feel and a sense of openness. Down here we've got a drink fridge. It's a GE monogram drink fridge. Really nice stainless steel. Uh, coming up to the bridge here, we've got a bunch, bunch going on today. We've got some cleaning going on. Um, uh, we're up in the galley. So here in the galley, we've got a sharp carousel, really large convection oven and a Kenyan three burner cooktop. Got amazing storage throughout here as well. Zoom out a bit. Double sink with the the um, insincorator here as well. Um, in here, literally um, uh, they've got a um, Fisher Paykel drawer, and uh, literally today, this morning, we turned it on and it didn't. It, it's not even that old. It just didn't decided not to work. So they're, they're replacing it. It's going to be a brand new Fisher Paykel dishwasher drawer. Um, and this was actually replaced a couple of years ago. This is a, a, a newer Whirlpool, very large double door fridge and freezer there and also got the ice maker and um, cold water feature in there as well with the filters a really good setup there um, on the port side moving forward we've got a u-shaped settee about sitting for about five or six there maybe about five really good space for dining Storage underneath, um, and uh, just here we've got um, the bridge. Let's take a look. So, uh, newer Noble Tech system here. I really love the Noble Tech. Um, we've got the Furuno Navnet here as well, the radar, and then um, updated Simrad IS20 wind indicator and Simrad Depth Sounder. You've also got the Simrad Autopilot here. I love these systems. Uh, twin Cat controls there. Um, these were actually replaced. These are the Nyad Stabilizer controls. They were replaced um, not too long ago, just a few years ago, maybe five years ago or so. They were replaced. And um, got that newer Watermaker control there as well. Um, trip temps were also serviced recently as well. Uh, there's the Bennett trim tabs, and we've got an HF radio, which I believe is disconnected, because um, I mean HF's really just for doing ocean crossing, and then you've also got the the VHF there as well, uh, Furuno GPS, the um, DGPS uh, 36 there, really reliable unit that Furuno, um, and then uh, Richie Compass in the middle, so. Really, uh, really good setup here in the bridge. Just underneath here, you've got the Dell 
computer which runs the Noble Tech and um, some good storage. One thing to note, obviously um, being in Mexico, um, you know the environment is um, prone to, to corrosion and that sort of thing. So I always uh, like to look at terminal connections like this um, and you can see zero corrosion whatsoever. So that's really good to see. The boat is really well taken care of. The, uh, the owner is an engineer and a former pilot. So um, always, uh, you know, always worked off checklists and always looks after the boat. So got all the breaker panels here, additional storage here. Just poke our head in, lots of deep storage in there actually. Um, let's head on down to the cabins. Head up forward first. The VIP cabin here. Cedar line closet. Got opening portholes, both to port and to starboard. Uh, port and starboard. And then uh, I've also got a uh, nice skylight there as well, which has blackout or fly screen option. Uh, just to note, you can see it right there. There's a bit of um, a bit of crazing on the uh, plexiglass there. Yeah, I mean, you can use that treatment that generally pulls it up pretty well. Nice big closet there again. A bit of storage there. And uh, some drawers underneath. And right under here is a bilge and it's got the bow thruster. Coming aft to starboard is the guest head. It's a shared head between the two guest cabins. I do like this white um, countertop. It really brightens things up in here. Wood is in all, all in good shape. Got Sealand back your flush head. No smell on board at all. And uh, to port, we have the over and under guest berth. Closet space, more closet space. Up here, we have got even more. So. Heading down the stairs here. Uh, actually, uh, before I forget it, uh, just yeah, just in there as well, and that that, that bilge is the um, the sump pump as well for the the showers. So that's all in there. In here, master cabin, really good space, good size berth. Actually, pops out quite a bit with that line of wood. Opening portholes, huge storage. And then uh, on the other side here, on the starboard side, is the ensuite head for the master. Let's just head up to the storage first. Poke our head in. Wow, it, it keeps going like all the way. <laughs> this is a huge, huge closet um, in there. And uh, shelving here. I do like the um, yeah having the Simrad multifunction right right by the bedside is always nice as well. Here another another closet. Newer uh, LED Samsung TV. storage throughout. Drawers everywhere here. Drawers underneath. Let's jump into the master head. Got vacuum flash, uh, Dometic head there. Mirrors are all in pretty good shape. Normally in this, uh, in about this old, I mean you can just see a little bit in the corner here, but I really haven't noticed 
uh, much longer. I've seen a lot of West Bays. And West Bays typically this age, you know, you're replacing windows, uh, sorry, mirrors. Um, but on here, really, I mean, it's just that. I mean, you can see this one, there's nothing. Uh, but typically on on West Bays, a similar boats of, of this vintage, it's um, it's a lot worse. And uh, I'm really surprised to only see just this tiny little bit here um, when it comes to the mirrors. Good size shower here. Got the growy shower head. Little seat there as well. Good storage. Um, and this is this layout is um, really fantastic for the owner operator. Um, you know, if you're on anchor, you're running the generator, and you need to kind of get in the engine room quick, um, and you don't want to go through the hatch on the aft deck. This is just perfect because you can just jump straight in here. You've got your full size GE washing machine, storage above, uh, full size. GE dryer here as well, and then a uh, little, little ironing board there, whole little workbench drawer set up, yeah, whole, whole work, workbench drawer set up, and then uh, lots of storage above here as well, and uh, let's head straight into this engine room here, incredibly clean for, for this year. Uh, for this older boat, um, yeah, twin 3406 CAT service by the CAT dealer here in La Paz. And um, they're both 800 horse each. After looking over everything, you know, really the, the only thing I saw on these engines, just like this little hose here, tiny, tiny, tiny little hose, just showing signs of wear, cracking. Um, that was really about it. it. It looks like it's in great shape. Also, I noticed here that it looks like they coat um, the uh, sea strainers in something to, to stop the, um, the, the corrosion as well. So, you know, really well really well taken care of. Uh, these uh, heat shields were replaced um, in 2017. Uh, all the batteries are um, you know, all well taken care of. These ones are AGM Deep Cycle from 2016. And uh, on this side we've got 2021, 2015, Ooh. and uh, I know some of the thruster ones were in 2020 as well. Um, so all, all really good. The Northern Lights Gen here, uh, this was service, it was belt, hose, impeller, and oil change done in 2021, uh, in January. All looks to be in pretty good shape here. You can see there's some belt dust still, still there from when they changed the belt. on just got the uh, generator cover back on just shooting up here you can see same as uh, up in the bridge terminal connections are all nice and clean looks really good there um, and let's poke our head down the side here we've got a couple of air compressors uh, here fuel filters the ray coils down the end there as well um, ZF transmission there More cruise air compressors. And over here is a new, I think it's like a year or two old, uh, Ratten and uh, the 7800 series water heater there. And uh, the Nyads were replaced about five years ago. Really love this workbench here. Got some additional switches there. This is the generator. The 
Jenny's got 3694. That was there. That's C strain is look good. Head on through and engines you can see we've got just under 2000 so 1968 on either side, 1966 on that side. Yeah, this is all replaced a couple of years ago, along with the box up here as well. There's the other nine stabilizer there. And just before we leave the engine room here, uh, that ladder there is the ladder that goes to the after. So just to put it in perspective um, of where that hatch went. Let's and back through. So we're gonna go straight back through the laundry area up to the bridge and we'll head up to the flybridge. We're back here in the bridge and just on the port side up, there's a stairwell here. It goes up to the bridge here and there is also a ladder on the aft. So I'm gonna jump around to the ladder there. Um, just one thing to note, just a small, kind of really the only wood imperfection I've seen. The wood's like in really good shape. It's actually a darker piece. It doesn't look like water or anything, but this is all really good shape here. Back up here on the flybridge. Same controls as down below. With the Noble Tech screen, Furuno, VHF, cat monitoring display, Simrad, Electronic gear controls there, balance stern thrust over the side power. Um, lots of uh, lots of little storage spots everywhere. Uh, over here is just a little um, intercom. Very comfortable helm chairs with a teak step. U-shaped seating and a nice big table up here as well. Got eyes and glass, tinted eyes and glass actually all the way around here. Receptacle there, the wet bar area, and just below here is a U line ice maker. There, just good storage there with drawers underneath. As the new attendance, the uh, the owner is actually keeping that for the new boat. It's got a 50 horse Yamaha Novarania. And a uh, good sized davit there and a life raft down there as well as an EPO. Thanks for coming on the tour today of the 64 foot Ocean Alexander Viking Spirit here in La Paz, Mexico. For further information or to get an in person tour, feel free to reach out to me, Ari Sher, anytime on 772. 240-0888 or via email at ari at denisonyachting.com. See you on the water.